That's right, Long here. This is James. James, what's up, buddy? This is Daniel. Hey, Daniel, how's it going? Oh, not too bad, man. That trailer will be here tomorrow. Sweet. What's up guys, James with That's Right Lawn Care. I'm here at the uh, trailer place, as you can tell on that phone call. My trailer's ready. My trailer is gonna be here today. I'm here a little early just to go ahead and get some paperwork signed. I'm also getting a brake controller installed in the truck, and uh, I really need that. Just because this is a gasser, it's not a, it's not a big heavy truck. It can haul, it can definitely pull anything I hook it up to but I need the capability to be able to stop. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this brake controller. I gotta get in here, sign some paperwork. They haven't even opened yet. I'm here about 20 minutes early, so I'm gonna, as soon as they open the doors, I'm gonna run in here, sign some paperwork. We're gonna go ahead and get the truck, uh, the brake controller installed. Hopefully I'll be able to show y'all a little bit of that. And uh, we'll, we'll take a look at what brake controller I got. I didn't even, the guy asked me what brake controller I had. And I said, listen, man, you're the professional. I want you to just give me what you think I need. And he said, well, you don't need the smallest one, obviously. And you don't need the biggest one, obviously. But there's a happy medium that everybody likes. And we've never had any issues with. And that's what I'm going to offer to you. I said, you the man, hook me up. Let's get this done. So let's, uh, let's go and sign some paperwork. All right, guys, I got the brake controller installed. Uh, my trailer had not shown up yet, so I told the guys to just holler at me when it comes in. He said, okay. So I went ahead and got all my yards cut for the day. We will uh, take a look at this brake controller here in just a second. I'm um, we'll go ahead and I'm about to pull up to the place to get my trailer. So he, he called me as I was finishing up and he said, hey man, trailers just got here. We're gonna get them unloaded. We'll try and get yours unloaded and, and all the paperwork done first. That way you can go ahead and pick it up today. So I said, man, I definitely appreciate it. Awesome dealer, awesome people I'm dealing with up here. We will uh, take a look at it here in a second. I'm pretty excited. So, seen a few. All right guys, so I had to hurry up and get out of there. They were about to shut the gates on me and uh, I knew I couldn't just sit out in the parking lot and film. But I wanted to go ahead and go over the uh, brake controller this is a uh, promise iq now they told me i didn't need the highest quality the highest price one or but i didn't need the lowest price one so they said hey, we've got you a happy medium this is what we recommend i said you just let me know what you recommend and i'm gonna go with that because you know i, I trust you guys i've actually bought three trailers from them today makes the third trailer i bought from them so here it is it's uh pretty simple to use just turn that you can set your set everything that way um, it also comes with uh, another harness but it's pretty simple and I'll tell you I drove around with the, the mower trailer earlier go ahead and shut this off but there you go drove around with the mower trailer earlier and I could tell a huge difference just in braking, just having that trailer. So it was really nice to have. I think it's gonna save me on brake pads in the future because I know I'm, I'm definitely starting to hear some noises from one of these back tires. So I'll eventually have to get that checked out. But guys, the smile on my face is because of what I'm looking at right now. I'm so happy to call this mine. This is a Sure Track 6x12, two foot walls, which that's why I just pulled up at Lowe's. I'm gonna run in and grab the boards to go in here to go ahead and finish the hide off of it and get my three foot walls. It's got the spreader, so I can lift this up just a little bit and allow, say if I'm doing uh, like pea gravel or gravel or something like that for a driveway, I can unload it that way to spread it. And of course you've got double doors on the back. But just walking around this thing, I've seen so many grease points I know this is gonna be a greasy, greasy trailer. <laughs> Tons of grease points. There's one. There's one, there's one. 
There's one. There's one. There's one. So I'm gonna have to keep this grease. It's got the tarp already installed. I'm real excited about that. That way, I'm not gonna have any debris flying out. There's definitely gonna limit the amount of debris that flies out. It is a tandem axle, two 5,000 pound axles. This thing is, oh, I paid an extra $200 to get this gray color. Isn't it sweet? I love it. I love the way the color looks. It's awesome. Here's the battery, the pump, the hydraulic fluid, the controller. Now, why did I buy a dump trailer? I don't do a lot of mulch. I don't do a lot of gravel. I don't do a lot of, I do a lot of brush haul off, but I've had to rent a dump trailer several times this year. And now I'm not gonna have to rent one. I'm gonna own one. Um, this thing was for around $8,100 after taxes and fees and stuff like that. Um, definitely believe it was a good purchase of course we won't know for a little while and of course maybe next year i will do a review on the sure track trailer this has me anxious to go do some jobs when when you get a new toy toy when you get a new piece of equipment for your business you just want to put it to work you want it to start making money for you so I've actually got several jobs lined up that I need this for. Um, the first one is going to be a simple, easy. I'm going to drop it off. The guy's going to fill it up with stuff he wants hauled off, and I'm going to take it to the dump. And there's there's a quick payment. That's going to be two payments right there, right off the bat. Hey, I don't know what he was looking at. But... Hey guys, I bought this trailer from Chattanooga Trailer and Rental. There's their number, and there is their website. If you are in the area, and you're in need of a trailer go to these guys first because they've got amazing customer service i dealt with daniel daniel has actually sold me my last two trailers and he sold me this trailer first trailer was actually a used trailer it was a uh, six by ten i bought it because it had a trimmer rack on it so i wanted the trimmer rack i bought the trailer cut the trimmer rack off put it on my trailer sold that other trailer then I bought the mower trailer that I have right now from it. And it's a PT trailer. It was just, it was a cheaper brand. I didn't have the money to go get a sure track. Um, I wanted to get, you know, something that was gonna be, you know, tandem axle, it was gonna be able to haul whatever I needed it to haul. Um, and it's been a great trailer so far. May even do a review on it. And then the dump trailer, six by 12. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and run in here to Lowe's. I'm gonna grab my walls, build this up. My spare tire on it too. But I'm gonna grab my walls, build it up. I'm actually getting some uh, railroad ties because I'm gonna make a area in my backyard to park the trailers in, uh, especially over winter when they're not getting used. Um, oh, I'm sure this thing will be getting some use, but whenever I can park both of the trailers back there and keep the driveway cleared off, that's where they're gonna be parked. So what I'm gonna be doing is uh, getting some, I think they're eight by eight by tens. I'm gonna get six of those and I'm gonna box off or see off, whatever you wanna call it, a small area, and then gravel over it. That way I've got somewhere to park this thing. Very excited about this trailer. This is a, this is a huge step for me to buy a dump trailer. Um, it's opened up a lot more opportunities it's it's made it's going to make uh brush jobs and stuff like that a lot easier um also if i need to rent a bobcat or a dingo or something like that to do a job i've got something i can haul it with i could haul it with my other trailer but let's be honest there's always mowers on that trailer this is just going to be a very versatile tool that's going to help me out in my business and uh, i know it's going to pay itself off because i have that mindset if I'm gonna buy something for my business, it's not just gonna be a toy. 
well, let's be, it's, it's kind of going to be a toy. But this is my toy that I use for my business that's going to make me some money. Guys, I'm going to run into Lowe's. I'm going to grab these uh, walls. As soon as I get home, I'll show you the walls because I know I'm going to have to cut them a little bit. It's a little bit smaller than 12 foot. That's what's going to go on the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and get them cut, get them put on, and we will wrap up at the house. Catch you in a few. All right, guys, just got back to the house, got the walls built on this trailer. I'm stoked as I'm messing with it. I'm getting more excited. I did get six of these railroad ties, and I unloaded the first one by hand, and I got to thinking, I've got a dump trailer now. So I'm going to just dump the rest of these out and uh, call it a day. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to come in here and box a little area off. I know I've got some grass seed coming up because I aerated and seeded back here. Uh, but it's okay. I can, I'm gonna put gravel over it. I think I'm gonna put some, uh, some fabric down too, just so that I don't have future problems with it. Um, I know it's kinda, kinda messed up that I went ahead and aerated and seeded, but oh well, you get what you get. So, well, I got five more to unload. These things are extremely heavy. If you've ever had to load these by yourself, you know what I'm talking about. I had to do it at Lowe's. Lowe's, that's another fail for you. That's twice this year I've had to load up these things because you had insufficient help. You weren't even that busy. Where you at? Come on. Anyways, so I'm gonna dump these out. I'm gonna let y'all watch it. And there we have it, it was that simple. Instead of wasting a lot of energy and muscle, and I'm definitely, my arms are sore, I can feel it after loading those up and then going and getting the uh, two by 12 by 12s. They're kind of heavy too. So let's bring this puppy on down. Single cylinder, got the ramps underneath it. So guys, that's going to end it for this video. I hope y'all had an awesome Wednesday hump day. We're halfway through this week. Let's grind it out two more days. Let's get it unless we're working Saturday, which I don't know. I might be working Saturday. I think we're supposed to have a lot of rain Friday and Saturday, but who knows? I hope we get it. But then again, I've already got jobs lined up that I'd like to get done. That way I can get that money rolling in, baby. Hope y'all had an awesome Wednesday. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Shoot me a thumbs up. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Perfect.